You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red. It went uh. in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. Please, I'm right here looking to. We have a right to see it for ourselves. Maybe so. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gavin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. What's <laughs> updated? Okay. He wasn't like this in Lothering. I think he misses the open fields. City life not agreeing with you. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if we brought him with us more often. <laughs> He's part of the family. I wouldn't want to lose him. Take it. I'm sick of what's his name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly, a Mabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with dog? Real easy to remember. Cole. I'll let you sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be mother's, do you think he would tell us? I won't believe Mother's own brother would steal from her. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about Father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. When, when this deep roads estate. expedition comes through, we can buy her home back, move to Hightown. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. How could Gamlin let that happen? I think there's a reason Mother didn't talk about him much. Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there, get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house. That's the date of birth, right? I wish we had the money for our own place.
Oh. So, what do you do, Avery? You know I'm a god. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. <laughs> I thought this was lost to us. Like so many other things. Okay. Let's level up some characters. Um. Lady Elegant. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Good to see you again, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still working for that brutish thug, Mirren. Things have been going well since then. It isn't always easy, but things are going well enough. That's wonderful to hear. You may recall I supplied the Red Iron with potions. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Quest complete, okay. That's enough. Clear out, you charlatans. Every coin those swindlers nab goes straight to the Carter's coffers. They must be stopped. Okay. Oh, that was that. <laughs> the 
The thieves are gone, guardsman. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. Thank you, I guess? your loss, mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. Can we help this woman? This could be mother. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... You heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariani. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him, please. Bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fainrail is gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainrail's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainrail might have sought him out. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. Magic can be a fearful gift. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all fanatics to be feared. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Oh, hello. My cousin said he might have a job for you. Thought you should come. Okay, let's go. Look at her right side. Ooh, 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 ooh. Greetings, Sarah. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest Antivan steel to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free merchants. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Sarah. My poor wife, she's back in Antifa and cannot see me often with my travels. Please, Sarah. I know you must fear for Fainriel, but we mean him no harm. Hmm. <laughs> Hard to tell in this city who means who harm, no? You abandoned your son at birth. If you regret this at all, help me save him now. There's no man in Kerbwall who is friend to an elf blood mageling. A smile went by my trust. What's up there, Wayward Son? Mm -hmm.
danger is past. Are you all right? No thanks to this lot. Can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though, you're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. I was attacked, I responded. Just picked me up on the way by. Still better than what I had. Look, the name's Javaris Tintop. I need someone to help pacify the Kunari. Why do I get the feeling he's not talking about singing them a lullaby? Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I often look at every second idiot and think, he needs more power. They offered this I to you. They were eager to sell. That Arishak said I wasn't worthy. That only their outcast, the Talmashat, or that mercenary. I said, great, I'll go talk to them. Didn't go over well. But, made me think. Maybe he'll bargain if I get rid of something that bothers him more than, well, me. The Talvashoth. The Talvashoth. Are you up for some paid hunting? I suppose there could be a reward for these Talvashoth. As long as you do it, I'm happy. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. Some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle. All right, let's go. Ready. They are gone. Ah! 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 That's enough! Ah! 
I'm so used to Dragon Age Origins. Or okay, well whatever. Talented five gamer points. We're close to the ambush hook. Be ready. Be careful. Nicely done. Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. I think I just went the wrong way. By all means, let's go up to the angry wandering elves and say hello. room in the barracks but there's no there's Jevon's office wait while I explain our initiative I don't know how they do it where you're from guards woman but I decide the patrols not you and your whim you may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year but I have no show off in my command have I made myself clear report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed A lot of yelling for doing him a favor. We killed a band of highwaymen. What does it matter whose patrol it was? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. Well, so whose patrol find was it? Whose toes you actually stepped on? Then we should check the duty roster and see who was supposed to take that route. What have I stepped in this time? Threaten my friends. I'm not letting that one go, Captain. Hope the day is treating you well, Sarah. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. So there was There's nothing unusual about it at all? It had been clear for weeks. It didn't get unusual until after we heard about you and Aveline. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignment. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush.
a search a delivery way to staff. pass information, and Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick, a good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Codex updated. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. who think they can take the streets in the dark. But, good reward in getting rid of them. Follow my lead! You'll die screaming! I'll send you on your way! Let's go. 